this is a very exciting case study for us because we're going to feature two different businesses in the insurance industry who are both using Facebook advertising to generate leads, but in a very, very different way and to very, very different audiences with very, very different products. It shows how even when you're in the same industry, insurance, how different your approaches need to be based on your target audience and your irresistible offer. So without further ado, I wanted to welcome Allison McLaney of DigiPraise, who will then be followed by Michelle Rupp of NRG Insurance. Allison. Thank you. I'm going to take over the screen share. Hi, my name is Allie McClaney. I am the founder of DigiPraise, an online appraisal value update service. I look forward to sharing my learnings from my BizHack experience. For 20 years, I have worked alongside both of my parents and my sister as jewelry valuators for the insurance industry. While it is usually rewarding helping an insured replace their treasured jewelry, the birth of DigiPraise came out of the pain we saw when people were underinsured because their coverage was based on an old appraisal which undervalued their jewelry. One client, a widower, was saving his wife's ring for their grandson, and when it was stolen, he was paid based on a 1980 appraisal. The primary goal of my BizHack experience was to learn more about my customers. I ran my first ad for video plays. It was a 20 second video of me asking the viewer if they knew the current value of their jewelry. We targeted a persona pair of men and women over 40 years old who were married, divorced, or widowed. And we added some behaviors and interests that would be specific to homeowners and to owners of luxury goods. We had almost 2,000 through plays, and I included that group along with a lookalike audience in my second ad, which included an irresistible offer, an e-flyer on three things you could do to keep your jewelry safe. Although we were supposed to run a second thumb stopping ad, it would have slowed things down for me. So I ran an ad with an image of a to-do list and asked my audience, audience to protect leads. So here's my funnel. In total with both ads, I spent $150 and I had over 10,000 impressions. My conversion rate on video plays was 30%, where my conversion rate for lead generation was under 1%. I have entered the 31 leads into MailChimp and I've already sent one contact piece to them about the importance of updating their appraisal value. So actually I feel like I had a 100% conversion rate on the 31 leads. Um, that was what I was going for, and now it's up to me to massage them into sales. I do estimate that I'll, in, a, in the end, I'll have about eight sales from these leads, which will create a sales revenue of $40, $400. So my return on ad spend was 3.75. So here are my biggest ahas for my BizHack experience. Number one, not so scary taking DigiPraise to the social media public. Um, I was definitely nervous about that. Ties into number two, as a perfectionist, I really wanted my ads to be perfect. And knowing that they disappear after a few days gave me a lot of comfort. And I think that'll be helpful moving forward in allowing me to test AB and to try different types of ads, knowing that it really can't damage my image. I also found the exercise of the lifetime value of a customer, B2B, B2B to C, um, B to C, for me to be very valuable. It, it, it allows me now to realize that my focus needs to be on the carriers, the insurance carriers or the agencies and really go through those channels. provisional patent. Um, we continued to meet with agency owners and aggregators and insurance carriers to position DigiPraise for wide distribution 
This week I took on a fractional advisor with extensive insure tech experience, which um, is super helpful uh, with our weekly meetings. Um, we'll continue to meet and vet jewelry expert valuators um, so we can contract out dig appraisals when we're ready to scale. And finally, we are posting daily to our social media accounts and adding content to our website, which will help maximize our organic growth. At DigiPraise, our vision is to protect values and emotions. So I leave you with this. If you or a loved one have jewelry, please protect it and know its value so you can make the best decisions for you and your family. I'm offering my targeteers a 50% discount, which expires one week from today. So feel free to visit our web app, enter targeteers at the checkout. You'll receive your discount.